Hello guys, welcome back to Zoa's Video Games and Arcade Tours. I got something really special to show you guys today. Today I'm going to show you guys a retro game console that I bought from China, straight from China, from the manufacturer. They were nice enough to send me a sample, so this is it, a retro arcade. I will show you guys a little bit about this one later. But for now, we're focused on the Retro Arcade. This is from the same company, Shenzhen. It's running the same motherboard, but it's an extended motherboard that runs... Uh, I think it's a little stronger, a little more powerful. Show you a little bit of what's on side. Console. Gamepad. Two pieces of gamepad. We're talking about that right there. AV cable, USB cable, and a user manual. This right here was made after, right after the Neo Geo Mini. The Neo Jimmy, the Neo Geo Mini. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about it yet, but it uh, has just been released and it's being shipped out to all the people who pre-ordered it. I, I will receive mine soon, but uh, I was surprised at how uh, fast this one came. This one, it's kind of like they took the idea of the Neo Geo Mini and they made their own, but instead of putting Neo Geo games, you could, uh, you could add your own Neo Geo games because there's a TF card slot, SD card slot on the side. You could download your games and you could add them yourself. So it's pretty much the same. but. Uh, you know, they didn't want to take the idea from uh, Neo Geo and uh, release it first. That, that would be kind of like cheating, you know? So, these are the specs. Yes, it's a 64-bit game operating system. It's a 4.3-inch view screen. I really like this stuff. I just recently modded my uh, retro game. Uh, this is known as the RS-97, that's the code name. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, and as I open this up, this is what I get inside. The user manual. There is a... Uh, okay, this side is in Chinese, but the other side will be in English. And look at that. Woo! Two controllers. Unlike the Neo Geo Mini, the Neo Geo Mini will just be the the uh, arcade console itself. Uh, it doesn't look like this. It looks a little different. It's shaped more like the actual Japanese Neo Geo system. If you guys seen it, uh, make sure to check it out. Just uh, on YouTube, just uh, search for Neo Geo Mini, and you'll find it. But the Neo Geo Mini doesn't come with these uh, controls. This system actually does. And of course you could play Nintendo games, Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, Capcom CPS games, and uh, Alpha Burn. I think that's what you call it, Alpha Burn. The, for the Neo Geo system, you had to buy your controllers and they're sold for almost $30 each about $25 each controller which is a good thing that this company comes with the controllers and here bubble paper to protect the screen here's a USB cord in case you want to upload your own games and uh, charging you want to charge your system Here's the AV out cable, so you can play it on your TV screen. Get rid of this bubble paper. Okay, and, and there you have it. Retro Arcade. This one was called a Retro Game. Code name RS97. This one, I'm not sure what the code is yet, but I will check. But uh, the model name is called Retro Game Arcade. Comes with a little screen protector. 
six button layout just like an arcade system would have a b y x this is actually uh, backwards left and right l and r here are the start select buttons joystick okay the joystick is the joystick feels like um <clears throat> Feels like uh, sort of like a PlayStation 4 analog stick. Okay. Very light. It's uh, it's light. I wouldn't say very light, but I would say it's light. Okay, here's the back. Okay. There's the USB. Two of the USB uh, inputs. I'm guessing for the controllers. <clears throat> okay, the TV out. You can either use it for the TV out or um, your headphones. Hmm. And there's the TF SD card slot, DC for charging, and the on and off button. And underneath, you'll find the speaker and the rechargeable battery. I think these kind of rechargeable batteries are the same type that you use for the uh, flashlights. Then you have these right here, just in case you don't want to scratch the bottom of it. These little rubbers for the for standing for st uh, standing steel. Okay, you, you, you can sort of see the motherboard. There's the motherboard. Might as well show you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. wallpaper there <coughs> Excuse me. there it is sort of like the uh, pap if I was to call it it's like one of those uh, app the uh, PS Vita clones that's that's how they sort of have the setup to look like and this is the motherboard this is what it comes with okay, let's go ahead and navigate Oh, there's a volume control on the side too. Okay, it's one of those rolly ones. Okay. So we got Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Captain Commando, The Punisher, UN Squadron shooting game, uh, Street Fighter 2, World Warrior, Dynasty Wars, Knights of the Round, Final Fight. Three Wonders, World Soccer, Rayman, Mega Man X, F Zero. Okay, it's mixed with uh, it's some arcade Capcom CPS games mixed with uh, SNES games and uh, Sega. Okay, this is just a bunch of random on the top, but if you go down here and you press A, A should be on this side, but for some reason they have it on this side. But you see on this controller they would have A on this side and this is, should be the correct way of doing it but I don't know why on this system it's like this <clears throat> but I will I am yet to find out if I can change the controls around wonder if you could change it throughout the system or you just you could just do it uh, within the game either way whatever works okay we have uh, simulation games transplant transparent games Transplant games, TF games. Okay, let's go to simulation. And these are all the emulators they have in there for now. Um, they don't have Neo Geo, that's what I realized. But I'm figuring they don't put Neo Geo inside because the Neo Geo Mini is just about to come out. And they released this one real quick. And you know, I, I figured if they... <clears throat> were to release this system right here with the Neo Geo games then maybe it will interrupt with the sales with Neo Geo Mini. People would buy this one instead because it's a lot cheaper it's only $77 on Alibaba um, so they only had a mostly Final Alpha Burn and a Capcom games I did see I think two or three Neo Geo games in there but they were not really the big 
names for Neo Geo. There were not. One of them were Nightmare in the Dark, and the other one was some uh, puzzle game. I forgot what it was called, but it wasn't Bubble Bubble. It wasn't Puzzle Bubble. It was my favorite. So these are uh, these that you see right here are all arcade. There's a Game Boy Advance games right here. Super Famicom, in other words, uh, Super Nintendo. Mega Drive, in other words, Sega Genesis. Family Computer, in other words, Nintendo System. Game Boy Color, Game Boy. So these are all the emulators, emulators so far. But I am pretty sure, since it's the same opera um, operating system as the retro game, you can add your own emulators in there. And it should be able to work. I'm guessing, but uh, I'm gonna try that out. Here you have, uh, looks like uh, music and videos. You need to have a few samples in there. Let's try out this feature. Okay, this is the loudest. That is pretty loud. Just a little bit distortion, but it's not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Here's the pictures. These are just wallpapers. No, they're really nothing. I, I, I think I don't need to go through them. I don't think I need to do it. Just a waste of time. Here's the uh, file browser. This, now this is the file browser is where you can access your SD card. So if you have an SD card stuck in there, which I did, you can go previous and go to SD card. New disk is the internal drive, while the SD card is the external drive. So just get in there. Oh, looks like I didn't put it in there. My bad, sorry. <laughs> Thought I did. Here's the settings. You can change the sound, the background, the wallpaper the backlight time and the backlight uh, how how bright it is and how um, how bright you want it to be unlike this system right here this system doesn't give you that option so it's a good thing the system does now this system comes with 16 gigabytes internal memory the other system uh, I don't even know I haven't even checked there's 280 megabytes available enough space for two or three no no i think that's enough space for one ps1 game if i wanted to mod this system up okay, let's get out of here and let's get started with the games okay let's go ahead and try let's try one of these uh arcade games i mean this is why they made the system look like an arcade system because Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, super coins. It's the select button. There's a select button and there's a start. Mini arcade system on the go. I'm definitely bringing this to my workplace tomorrow. Let's go with the dwarf. Okay, I'm only playing with one game. I mean one hand. Everything is pretty responsive. From the feel of the um let me turn on the volume a little. From the feels of the uh, joystick, I can tell that maybe fighting games such as King of Fighters and Street Fighter Mortal Kombat games will not be very good. 
is you gotta do a Hadouken. Because this isn't... It's an 8-way joystick, but it's not really the real 8-way joystick. These buttons feel good. It's a solid system. So far, I like it. Oops, I turned it off and I... You guys should definitely get this. I think any retro game lover would definitely like this. They have many mini uh, bar top and desktop arcades, but this one right here you can get for under a hundred dollars. And it's not bad. It's not bad, it feels solid. Just don't drop it though. <laughs> this isn't a bad system at all. I recommend this. Hopefully, they, hopefully it's hackable. You can hack it, modify it, which is something I'm going to try because I really want to have Mortal Kombat Trilogy in this system right here because I was able to hack my retro game and I was able to play Rampage World Tour, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Street Fighter the Movie, um, there were a few other uh, 2D games from the PS1 that w I was able to play, and they ran super smooth. That's all I can say. Well, thanks guys for um, tuning in and watching this video. I know I haven't made videos for a long time, but thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, this is Zoas Video Games and Arcade Tours. Please subscribe, like, and if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave a question, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you.